Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Geek and Me YouTube channel. This is Randomite Studios, and today we're going to take a look at Rus. I'm gonna pronounce it like that, in the rare event that I will use its name directly, because this is made by a Dutch company, and that word you see means giant. Why giant? You will see that in just a moment. I am going to show you a couple of minutes of gameplay and then I'm going to um, tell you my opinion about the game. Um, first of all, let me go through the options menu. Uh, video, customizable, uh, resolution, and full screen or not, whatever floats your boat. Audio, to audio sliders. I'm gonna turn this down just a tad bit. Game sounds, languages, loads of languages. Always nice when developers do that. Always nice when they put in loads of language support. But anyway, uh, I am going to explain things as we go. I am <laughs> right now. I'm actually making gestures with my hand, but you cannot see that. Let's start a new game. A game consists out of an era. Well, at least we have a tutorial level. We have eras and we have free play. We're going to look at eras. An era can take half an hour, one hour or two hours. I haven't unlocked those yet because I need new developments. What are these developments? Well, I'll just play and we'll see what these developments are. Loading screen, beautiful artwork in the loading screen is even. Uh, you can, they give you a little tip during loading. Um, really fast loading times. It's it's a really, it's not that big of a game. It's uh, it's pretty good. Let's see. A new era begins. So these are the developments that I have not yet achieved. I need to finish an era with only one village, which has 175 prosperity, etc., etc. There are in total eight I have not um, achieved yet in this um, in this level. I need one more development to advance to the next level. But let's just go. I'll explain as we go. I'm gonna make this quick and fast as possible. Um, right. Hello. Um, <laughs> you might wonder who are these guys. These are the giants I was talking about. Um, first of all, you are the planet. Um, <laughs> it's a really weird thing to say, but you are a planet. And you control these... Giant beasts. Um, they each have their own unique powers, which I will go over in just a second. Over here we have the developments that I need to achieve. Um, I just explained a couple of these. This is just a reminder of what you need to work towards. Over here we have some easy buttons, but that's only when you've got stuff. We got a nomad is roaming the planet. Uh, that means a village can settle if the conditions are right. Here we have our time bar, which is uh, one. We have 28 minutes and 50 seconds remaining. Our prosperity meter, depending on how much resources we get, and that's about it. Also, if you click on a patch of land, you get information. As you can see, this is dry wasteland. Uh, let us take the ocean giant. And create an ocean right where he's standing. He's gonna do his magic, i.e., punching the ground. And bam, we have an ocean. Beautiful. Uh, as you can see now, this was a patch of dry wastelands. The patches next to the water are now wet wastelands, which means we can build. Or we can create a forest. Let's create a forest with our uh, forest giant. These are the fertile patches where this only works. So let's do it like that. Let's see what this this giant does. He's going to do his mumbo jumbo. Boosh, boosh, boosh. There we go. A beautiful lush forest. Um, right. Then our swamp, because we have another patch over here, our swamp giant is going to create a swamp. Which is quite logical. Um, swamp giant, swamp, forest giant, forest, it's all quite logical. 
and raise the swamp. There we go, and then there's only one more biome that can be created, and those are the mountains. That's gonna take a while until that guy's there. Um, so let me cut to that. And here we go. Here's our uh, our mountain giant going to raise the mountains. Here we go. I thought he was gonna punch it, but no, he's not. So as you can see, oh, okay. Just like the ocean, um, the ocean creates some wet wasteland patches, but the mountain creates desert next to it. So anyway, those are the the four, four, yeah, the uh, three, three basic biomes that you get. Uh, you've also got some dry wasteland. So now, as you can see, about two thirds of the planet is now covered in biomes. Now, this thing is flashing real wild. A nomad is roaming. So let's lure in the nomads. I'm going to start with the basic. Uh, the basic village, which is a forest village. Now, every village needs some sort of... needs a resource to live. The forest village usually needs food. And conveniently, the forest giant can provide food in, uh, in the biome. As you can see, here are some nomads. And they're going to settle right next to the blueberries. There we go. Hammerborough has been settled. So as you can see, this blueberry provides five food. So this village has five food within its borders. Now, uh, I'm going to create a swamp village. Well, I can't do that yet. Um, good, good timing. The granary challenge has started. This granary challenge is... Um, each village can have a project, has one project that it needs to complete in order to evolve. Uh, these projects are buildings, um, and they want a granary. So objectives, everything is explained very nicely in the GUI. Objectives, food in use, 6 out of 30. So we need in total 30 food, but as you can see, we can only produce 20 in total. Uh, that's because we only have 5 here. And as you can see by this specialization, uh, it gains plus 15 food for each plant within borders. So we have one plant in this border, so that gains 15 food. Now, I could potentially um, create another plant. Oh, you know what? Let's just do that. I'm gonna place a plant here. Let's see what happens. Kaboosh. There we go. Now this has 30 because it's plus 15, plus 15 because there are two plants. But now, as you can see, this this is in red. It's growing irresponsibly fast. So what you have to do is you have to balance uh, production of resources. If you gain too much too fast, the village can get greedy and they will um, either attack other villages or they will um, they will attack your giants. And that's a bad thing. As you can see, it has been stabilized so it's growing safe and fast. But we have gained one greedy red face and it's gone again. Okay, so it can go away. As you can see, wow, village is growing nice and steadily. So now we have 40 food max. This needs only 30. So I'm going to cut to when uh, this projection... Well, we can wait a bit. In the meantime, I can create a swamp village with these herbs. So each village has its own uh, preferable resource. Swamp villages um, use preli preliminary, use pr primarily, that's the word I'm looking for, they primarily use technology. As you can see, Fortshire has been settled. 
Uh, prosperity is rising slowly. Also, I can open this button here, and you can see uh, our villagers. Um, nice uh, overview of the villages, and the Druid challenge has started over here. Wow, there's so much going on right now. So, a project has started in the Swamp Village, which needs 30 technology. I'm going to ignore that for now. Let us go over here. So the Granary project has been completed. Every time you complete a project, you gain an ambassador. What these ambassadors do uh, is give you an advantage. Give you They can give you an aspect in order to upgrade your sources in order to get more resources. Uh, let's see, an example is... Um, let's see, I will place down another plant here. Mm -hmm. Which means this food is going to go up, because it stacks up to three times. As you can see now, the greed is going way too... F it's growing way too fast again. But that's neglectable for now. So as you can see, this symbiosis is kind of the same like a specialization, but for your sources, they give uh, a bonus if the requirements are met. So this, this, this gets plus 10 food if next to an apple tree, dandelion or strawberry. As you can see, I can transmutate this into a strawberry with a lesser leaf aspect. I have a lesser leaf. I have a leaf aspect right here, so I'm going to do that. Do some mumbo jumbo. And then you can see. Okay, we can now transmutate this. I'm going to do that. Bang. Which means more prosperity. That's one thing. But also, even more food that they cannot handle. <laughs> um, so that's that. What I could do is choose a giant. And let's take this guy. And you can choose any giant to pick up an ambassador, which unlocks a certain aspect of that uh, of that giant. So I have chosen the ocean giant to collect the forest ambassador, which gives us a crystal aspect, which upgrades a mineral with a crystal aspect. And it adds wealth and awe. Uh, these are the basic... This is actually basically the entire game. Uh, I'm going to... As you can see, there's another nomad roaming. I can place down a mineral right here. And that will create a desert village. Desert villages prefer... Um, wealth over all. So, as you can see, this guy needs technology. It's a swamp. They needed food in order to achieve this. And now, if we can see, there we go, here are some nomads. And they will create a desert village. There we go, Shining Cliff tribe. And they have wealth. And if they start a project, it is usually has something to do with wealth. That is generally the entire game. Um, the trade post challenge, there we go, they started the challenge and as you can see it needs wealth. So this is the game. You need to create villages or let people settle villages and upgrade their projects in order to gain these achievements. In order to unlock more and gain more achievements. That is basically the entire game. I say it like it's it's the normal the most normal thing in the world, but it's not really it's 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 quite difficult. Um, after a while, if you rush too much, see I need I need more technology in this. What I can do is I can place an advanced mineral which gives technology. So let's do that. Let's place it here. I could also. Um, place some more herbs now, but we have that. Here we go. I'm gonna place a mineral next to this one. So that gives plus 7 tech for each mineral next to it. So this will gain 
This will be 14 in total. Let's see what happens. Boom. There we go. We got 10, 14. But now that is way too much to handle. So you have to keep in mind uh, that you don't let the villages grow too fast. Because their greed will go up. And especially if you have multiple villages, they will attack the other villages. We have apparently another nomad roaming, this, roaming the, the planet. So we can make more villages, even more. But after a while, the more villages you get, the more dangerous it gets. So there's a risk involved. Uh, I've been blabbing about 50 minutes now. I am going to skip to the end game. And I will let you see the end screen. And I will give you my opinion on this game. So I will see you there. And here we are once again. We are now entering our last minute. Uh, as you can see, within 60 seconds all giants will be asleep. So in the last minute of this of the of of an era. So after each session, like I said, one by one they will fall asleep. As you can see, my mountain giant has fallen asleep, so they can't do anything anymore. You might want to try in last minute do something, um, but there's not much use in that. So as you can see, I finished a second upgrade of uh, that school that changed into plantation. Was it a school? I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, but I managed to get that. Um, as you can see here, uh, can I explain that real quick? Well, no. Let's just uh, let's just end the game. And everyone is asleep now. There we go. And this is the end screen. So yes, that is the game. Uh, you just have to build out, and you go back to the menu. You just have to build out your village, make sure they don't attack each other, make sure you have the right combination, um, all that fun stuff, it's 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 really fun, it's kind of like, well, I should be careful saying this, kind of like SimCity-ish, uh, where you have to get the, the right combination of placements and the, the perfect yeah, the perfect combination, just uh, in order to upgrade to the next level and and upgrade your sources. It's it's absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful game, and it's accompanied by this music. This <laughs> this is this is really good music. It's it's really it's a really really good game, and I cannot recommend it enough. It's it's. On Steam right now, it's like it's 9.99, I think nine, around 10 euros, 10 euros, 10 dollars. I don't equ search your equivalent in your country. Um, links will be in the, des in the description for this game. Um, my screen just turned white. I hope that's not what you guys are, you guys are seeing. Um, <laughs> but anyway. I was Renamite Studios, reporting for Geek and Me. Check out the site. Um, check out our site. Loads of reviews for other things as well. Uh, books, games, movies, all that good stuff. And be sure to subscribe to this channel in order to get more video reviews. And uh, we hope to see you in the next, the next review or on the site, on the forums. And catch you guys later.